What's going on everybody? So for the time being, while the Madden Pro Bowl is happening and the Madden Bowl for Madden 17 is happening, they're giving away the special edition 96 overall Deion Sanders. Now you can actually win it by going there live in Orlando or if you just follow EA Sports Mud on Twitter, they will um, give out codes and then you could possibly get them. Uh, I haven't used them yet, but there he is. Um, obviously he's not gonna be auctionable or tradable because it's a free card that they're giving away, but he is a 96 overall, he is a, spe uh, a pick specialist, and he is a lockdown uh, corner, which in my opinion, does, it doesn't really mean much with those um, those chemistries, because I've actually had games where I've had all lockdown and dudes get burnt for six on a regular basis, but that's neither here nor there. I will be letting you guys see some live gameplay on Twitch, uh, so go ahead and follow me at G Myers World on Twitch, and um, you'll be able to see if he is really worth all that talk. Now. We're going to talk about some of the uh, Madden Bowl from uh, yesterday, January uh, 27th, 2016. Um, obviously, if you guys follow me on Twitter at Gmyers World, you would know my thoughts throughout the process. In my opinion, okay, look, first of all, I'm going I'm to let you know like this. Uh, Jet Steel got completely embarrassed by True Boy. Um, it was a 28-0 skunk. He had to get the mercy rule right quick. Uh, he, he was probably the most disappointing, but once again, the, the biggest bum of the tournament was Duke. By far, that guy Duke, bro. He's a guaranteed win. He's a guy that if you go out there and you don't know what you're doing, he's the guy that's gonna give you the win that you need to go on. I don't know how this guy makes it, seriously. He, look, this is what it is, right? We all know that it's Madden and things go against you, things go for you, et cetera, et cetera. You know, no matter how good you are in Madden, sometimes you need some Madden luck. The greatest Madden players are gonna need some good luck every now and again, right? This guy Duke, even with all that, he still will make the dumbest mistakes ever and continue to get, you know, just get whipped. The dude is a bum. I, look, bottom line is this. Problem right had to play him for a win and end situation, right? It is nobody on this earth that thought that Duke had a shot, except for I think probably Rico, one of the announcers. I don't know if that guy does drugs or what he's doing, but if you guys have been watching it, uh, by the way, it's on EA Madden NFL on uh, Twitch. And I think today, January 28, 2017, is the semifinals. Um, but yeah, Duke is a total bum. And like I said, a lot of guys hate on problem. And I, I don't really understand the uh, psychological thing with that. I, I know sometimes it gets boring to hear the same person, um, the same person's name mentioned, but you guys have to understand something. When, when you help build a brand, your name is gonna always be synonymous with the brand. So because problem was doing this before, EA started doing these live events and you guys saw, you know, start to see it on, on stream and stuff like that. Problem was doing it. So you can't be mad about that. You know what I'm saying? If he did something personal to you or you were in business with him and it's something like that, that's different. But just to hate on him because, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. Just dive like Superman and don't do anything to stop the ball. And just to hate on him just because, you know, they, you know, they always call him the GOAT. Yeah, that can get annoying and stuff like that. But when you think about it, Michael Jordan hasn't played basketball in like 90 years and they still call him the GOAT. He's always brought up in conversation because of the simple fact that he was a guy that made basketball transcend the NBA. It was worldwide, it was all over the place. It was him. Um, you could dispute a lot of the things and how he won and he didn't beat some of the teams that were at the top of their game. Oh, that catch was wild and ridiculous. I, I, I don't know why they have that thing coming up on the top with user catch and all that stuff, bro. And then when you pick the ball off in the end zone, it says safety, but it's not a safety. I, look, I'm not gonna talk about that, but let's get back to the um, the hashtag Madden Bowl. So when you look at that with the winning in situation, if you're a person, even, even somebody that loves Duke would know that he was gonna lose. Like, he ju you just know that the guy's gonna lose. I don't know what he's doing. I don't understand what's happening, but oh my goodness, I gave that up on fourth and 10. That was a bad play by me. I sent way too much heat. And um, sometimes I just get you know so addicted to sending heat, because that's all I do, guys. I send a lot of heat and I try to make you make a bad read. That's my game. That's always been my game, um, you know, pretty much. So, uh, you know, sometimes I play a little bit of coverage, but it's not even about the coverage. I don't know what, the, yeah, I put that corner in a specific route to, to just go back, not even care. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever, Jimmy Graham. And the ball stuck in his back and it came up in the front. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just jump up in the air like a savage. All right. So, pretty much what I'm trying to explain is this I already know that. Problem right probably won't win the tournament. I already know that because Hollywood looks really good. And I didn't even know Hollywood was from the Bronx. You know, so de definitely NY, we always look up, you know what I'm saying, stand up for each other. Um, you know how we you know how we do, bro. I used to be in Bronx, I used to be in the Bronx a lot uh, back in the day, bro. Bronx River Parkway, stuff like that. It, it really gets gator over there. But that that's not that's neither here nor there. Hollywood really looks good. The big homie true boy looks really, really good. And like and like I, if you guys don't know, 
I've known True Boy for a while now, before True Boy was even competing in these contests. Good young man. I just hope that he keeps his head on the shoulders correctly. Um, don't make any bad deals and go and affiliate with the wrong people. And I think he'll be fine. I think he and Hollywood are probably the future of this Madden thing. But um, let, let's talk about let, Jet Steel. Let, let's, let's, get, let's get back to him. The dude's name is Ill. I'm not going to sit up here and say that the dude's name is not Illmatic. Like, I'm pretty sure this dude never had any problem getting any chicks. Like, if you, yo, what's your, yo, Jet. What's your name, Jet? What? But, but what's your last name, though? Steel. Like, how how is a chick going to say no to that? Like, I'm pretty sure this dude was probably the coolest dude in school just because his name. But he's not really good in Madden. I, I, I'm just, look, I'm just telling you, look, the dude came out. I don't know if he, his swerve game wasn't on point or side to side, the way they call it with, you know, sometimes. I think RG started calling it the swerve again yesterday. But, the, yo, pick that, use alert. Now, look, 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 look at the top, look at the top. Safety. Okay, bro. Okay. Okay, EA. Yeah, yeah, I got to fumble the ball. Okay, now my guy dies the way to the ball. Yeah, whatever. Um, so, yeah, getting back to this. Um, Jet still was a complete disappointment. Um, I, I don't know if he has to, you know, it's just certain things you have to do when you go into these tournaments to prepare and... You know, these guys, even though True Boy, I think this is True Boy's, what, second live event? True Boy, he, he's, he's going to be a solid, he's going to be a solid player, man. Um, Kane's, Kane, I, is Kane's going on? No, no, Dot W, right? I don't think Kane's is going on for some reason. I'm trying to remember because I was watching it and I'm um, trying to figure out exactly what was going on. But Kane's, like I said, I didn't know that Kane's was that young. Um, but he came out there, he, he looked as if uh, he may have a serial killer trade in him, but I don't. I don't know, bro. The dude was just way too calm and relaxed. But it was hilarious what was happening happening to him with him and True Boy when he got that safety. That animation was crazy, bro. Um, if you guys didn't watch it, it's definitely available on the past broadcast at EA Sports. Uh, well, EA Madden NFL on Twitch. It was the, one of the most hilarious things. And it also, True Boy lost to Dot W, and one of the fumbles that were returned when the guy was running sideways like he was doing the moonwalk like Michael Jackson. It was one of the most hilarious things I've ever seen in my life. I was I was saying to myself, oh, okay, keep, keep kicking it, keep kicking it. Yes, yes, ball physics, ball physics. Yeah, keep, keep kicking the ball, keep kicking, yeah, yeah, we don't need it, we don't need it. Yo, this game right here, bro, okay. Yo, bro, okay. So, like I said, guys, I hope that you uh, will be there in the chat today to join. Oh, don't pick the ball either, just stand right there, let the ball go through your hands. It doesn't, yo, look, man, these things are gonna happen, and like I told you guys, man, I'm not complaining anymore. When I live stream, I may complain, but I'm not going to complain because you guys want me to ignore the fact that it's going on. I've said my case. I threw a pick. That's on me. That was good user alert right there. I threw it right to him. I was just, at this point, one of my eyeballs fell out of my head and I was just going crazy. So kudos to this guy, man. That was that was a great lurk right there. But prior to that, you guys saw all the things that were happening and that's regular things that happen in Madden. But either way, the Madden Bowl is definitely very, very entertaining. Um, I hope you guys are out there enjoying it. I hope you guys enjoy me. Take this L on my file. And like I said, check the links in the description for my Twitch. Go right there right now. Like this video. Share this video. Subscribe. And I'll see you when I go live on Twitch. Keep in mind that I, I stream also on YouTube. So you get it both ways once you subscribe here and you follow me on Twitch. One love.